So we have blessing here. And if I'm being honest, I had no idea what you did until someone told me last week. So I am an accident referral specialist is the name that I've coined this. I help accident victims when they're involved in car accidents connect with personal injury attorneys and chiropractors to maximize their compensation and make sure that they actually do get the right type of attorney that they need for their situation. Is that a thing? So for many years, I didn't think this was a thing, but it's a thing. If anybody can make a million dollars from a thing, it's a thing. This is entrepreneurship on another level. Yes. You just became the person to think about if you're in an accident and you're going to connect them to the professionals. I didn't come up with this. I was fortunate enough to meet a man who did, who did this and taught me everything he knew. Even for me, it took me years to have this conversation because I used to feel like, am I an ambulance chaser? But call me what you want. I help a lot of people. People who would have never done anything if they had not come across me. You've been doing this for 15 years. Yes. Yo, who came up with this way of making money? This is incredible. Welcome to another edition of the Social Proof Podcast, man. We find people who are successful in the field. We want to give you an opportunity to see what other people do, how they operate, and who they are. Today, we have a young lady who I have known for years. She's uh, been a part of the morning meetup, and uh, I'm just going to take all the credit for that, okay? It's a commercial, okay? If you want to be in... <laughs> you want to be... Uh, you want to go out and make millions and be successful... And be on the Social Proof Podcast, join the morning meetup, themorningmeetup.com. It was a good experience, right? Definitely. Yes. Yes. Lit. So we have Blessing here. And if I'm being honest, I had no idea what you did until someone told me last week. Okay. And I was like, no, I was like, Blessing, yeah. She wear green all the time, right? <laughs> she wears green all the time. I think I might have seen you once or twice where you're not wearing green. That's a lie. I have. <laughs> You see me with no green. I have seen you with no green. We'll let him have it. It's his show. No, no. Maybe it was a car. It's a car. My and I just assumed it would be green. And I was like, oh, she's a fraud. <laughs> she doesn't wear green all the time. No, but okay, yes. Oh, no, your closet is nothing but green? Now. Well, it's, it's half and half. It's been about two years straight. It's been a consistent two years. But I remember you, David, from the beginning. Mm, don't beginning. attack me. Don't attack me. Like, huh? Not yeah, like, you have been in my DMs inviting me to an event that you had when you were doing t-shirts. You don't remember me, but I remember you. Really? Yeah. I remember you being in the mall, passing out the t-shirts literally yourself. I've been to you for wow. years. Then you didn't see me in green. That's the only time. And the last two years when you believe you met me, you've seen me in green every time. You know what? It had to be... You started this green thing at least three years ago, though. Technically right? a good two. I remember exactly how it all started. Because I did an yeah. event at the, because um, this space, well, I guess so. It's, it's been open for, yeah. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's really cool that we're having a conversation about you wearing green. How'd you pull that off? So it's kind of like what you just said. Um, when you, when we reconnected at your old building, I was going through a phase in life. Where I was trying to kind of figure out who I wanted to be online specifically. Like I knew who I was offline, but I wanted to figure out who I was going to be online. And I was really confused. I want this whole interview to be very transparent. Yeah. I feel like people come on here and they have it all together. Mm -hmm. I don't have it all together. Yeah. And I'm okay with sharing that. Yeah. I was really confused. And when your message is unclear, it's really hard to make money. And that was my goal online to make some money. I saw everybody else doing it. The only thing that carried me was me wearing the green until I figured it out. So if you met me two years ago, you'd be like, I don't remember what you did, but you were, you were so memorable. Like, I still remember you. And the green had so much to do with it. So it started with me going to a Path of Prosperity event. It was a five, three or five day event. And I always strategically wore green when I was going somewhere important. Mm -hmm. Not every day, just somewhere important. And then it got to the point where these people were seeing me around. And they was like, why aren't you wearing green today? And I was like, damn, they really want me to wear green. Mm. I was up for the challenge. Yeah. And that's literally how it started. And that is why all the work I've done over the last two years, even though you don't know exactly what I was doing, you still remember me because yeah. I was consistent with my green. For sure. God works in mysterious ways. Yeah, that's awesome. Man. Yeah. So what is it that you do? What is your business? So I am an accident referral specialist is the name that I've coined this. I help accident victims when they're involved in car accidents connect with personal injury attorneys 
and chiropractors to maximize their compensation and make sure that they actually do get the right type of attorney that they need for their situation. Hmm. Is that a thing? So for many years, I didn't think this was a thing, but it's a thing. If anybody can make a million dollars from a thing, it's a thing. If I get hurt in a um, in an accident, I just call four one one pain. You know what I mean? <laughs> First of all, they done branded that thing. Goodness gracious! So the person in the accident doesn't just go to the attorney. No, so many of us don't because we know the jingle, but we don't feel like we're hurt enough. So four one one pain is probably going to get the the fraudulent people who ain't hurt at all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. even their marketing is like, you know, babyish. Or people who are really hurt. So there's the middle person who has some discomfort, who has some soreness, who has some injuries that I didn't go to the hospital because I didn't feel anything right away. It's a couple of weeks later. I have back pain. What do I do? This is so perfect. Kay was just, we, we can talk. Kay, give her a mic. So Kay was just an accident. Uh-huh. First off, she ain't been here to work for two days. And that's why. Because she was an accident, right? Lost wages. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on now, okay? <laughs> can I take some wages away? Just I, I'll. She can be reimbursed for missing time from work due to her accident. I, not from your pocket per se. I'm not going to say nothing publicly, so yes, lost wages. Okay, so, all right, so she, what did you do? Like, as soon as you got in an accident, what happened? Well, like she said, I didn't exactly. feel that bad in the moment. That's my money. And I went home and went to sleep. Well, oh, so. no. You're supposed to go to the hospital, right? That's my, nope. She did just what I needed her to do. That's what so many people are doing. That's how I'm successful. Hold on. So you just went home, was like, oh, this sucks. I was in an accident. Went home, went to sleep. Mm-hmm. And then what? I woke up the next day. The pain was worse. I went to the ER. Oh, wow. Okay, then what? Um, then of course I contacted my attorney after that, but you have an attorney just for this kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. What kind of attorney is it? Uh, accident, um, personal injury lawyer. Okay. Whatever it's so, so it seems like the cycle of yeah, yeah. what you should do. So he's specifically a personal injury attorney. Yeah. That's what he's your attorney for. Yeah. I've used them previously. In the past for other accidents. accidents. Yeah. You be getting accidents why. like that? No, it's only the second one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so you called a person who got an accident with right. the first time. Uh-huh. Did you get some money last time? Yeah. How much? Um, the total settlement was maybe like twenty something, but then you gotta pay them their thirty three percent, pay all the doctors, the chiropractors. So. Man, listen. I was in Alabama. I went to school at uh in Huntsville. I'm driving and this lady I don't know what happened, but I think she came. Uh, I was, I'm driving, and she's like, kind of like cut in front. She's coming this way, made a left turn. Okay. And I had to swerve to avoid hitting her. But my car starts sliding to the median, so I, I'm bringing the car back, and it starts sliding this way. And I'm like, oh crap, there's like a big hill. So I come back this way, but then I'm going back to the median. I go back this way, and my car, the wheels hit the curb. And I'm, I rolled down this hill. Oh, my gosh. My car flipped. It had to be four times. And thank God I'm alive. Yeah. I just got out. And I, I got out. I'm shook, actually, right here. It's like uh, cut because the glass broke. And I, I, it always feels funny right here. But I go to the hospital. And they start calling me like, yo, you were in an accident. We can, you know, they want to settle. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess their insurance company. Okay. I think I got like $5,000. Okay. So did you actually hit someone? No. The lady swerved in front of me. And I think the, the police report said that it was the other person's fault. I had to swerve to avoid hitting her. Her insurance company paid you? Yeah, I think. $5,000? If they paid you $5,000, they would have paid you more. I was 20. Yeah. And I'm like, ooh. I'll take it. Yeah. No, I just had these I'll be hood rich. Hood rich. From Instagram, it was four of them in the car. They were in an act. They were in the Uber. They the Uber was at fault, and they were the passengers. If you're going to be in an accident, being in the Uber is the best scenario. Really? (laughs) Million dollar policy that we can go after. 
they offered them people twenty five hundred dollars each. I said, if they're offering you twenty five hundred, we can get you twenty five thousand mm. minimum. I feel very secure in saying, and I don't even have any proof. Just trust me. They took the twenty five hundred dollars. No, because that's another problem in mindset issue hurt? that little bit, little bit hurt. Not not much, but if they're offering you that, that means they have more to offer you, and that's the attorney's job to make them pay up. Got that's it. why we want thirty three percent. So you take your thirty three percent too. No, no, no. So how I get paid, which is a very great question, mm -hmm. is I work as their marketing department, basically. So Who's marketing department? The attorneys that I work for, they okay. pay me for marketing. So okay. I do like direct marketing for them. So versus these attorneys paying to be on television or radio ads, they're paying me to deliver leads. Mm. So I don't get paid from the actual settlement. So they, okay, what is the agreement that you have with these people? With which people? Like the attorney. I'm their marketing department. I'm saying, is it like just a monthly number or is it based on how many people? It's a monthly can... number. Okay. Yep. And then we renegotiate every quarter. So, okay. It, okay. Help me understand this. Mm -hmm. I'm an attorney. I'm going to pay you to market for me. Mm -hmm. What are you telling me you're going to do for me? We're going to talk about your marketing budget. And based on what your marketing budget is, I'm going to let you know how many clients I feel like I can provide you. Give me an off, off of you want to pay me. So let's say, because uh, I don't want people to know my real numbers. For sure. Um, let's just say you want to pay me $10,000 a month for marketing. I'm like, okay, I'm going to for sure give you 10 clients a week. 10 clients a week? Yeah. Are you delivering that? Yeah. Wow. It's really not hard. It's a bunch of, what's your name, ma'am? K. K. It's a bunch of K's around. So K is now using her attorney because that's all she knows. Mm. But now she knows David, who knows Blessing. You become my bird dog. And you're like, if you ever know somebody in an accident, you should work with Blessing instead. Why are we working with this man on TV we never met a day before in our lives? Now, wow. Mm -hmm. They already have a bad reputation that they're going to rob you. This is entrepreneurship on another level. Yes. You just became the person to think about if you're in an accident and you're going to connect them to the professionals. I didn't come up with this. I was fortunate enough to meet a man who did who did this and taught me everything he knew. Yo, first off, will they pay me, the attorneys? I'll pay you. You better come on. You better be an entrepreneur. Yes. Right? Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about that. Okay, because yes. I want to. Yeah, let's do that sponsorship. Yes. Um. Okay. This is incredible. So, I've been in an accident. I talked to you. Give me an example of what this conversation looks like. You were in an accident. You're talking to me? Yes. I'm like, bless it. I've been in an accident. First off, can I go back and get some money from them people that got me 5000 My no. car rolled over yeah. four or five times. Yeah. Once you settle, you settle. And But if, if, if the accident has been in the last two years and you haven't settled, then yes, we can go back. Mm. But if you've already accepted a settlement, we cannot go back. But yeah, basically we're getting on the phone and you're going to tell me like, my neck hurt. It doesn't hurt that bad. And I'm like, it, it hurts bad enough because you're looking at $20,000, $30,000 as a lot of money as an individual. We're going at the corporations. They got billions of dollars to go after. Hmm. So if we're going to get $20,000 for you, you're like, yeah, I won. But that's pennies on the dollar for them. So even with that, the insurance company is doing an excellent job of us having the wrong mindset when it comes to using insurance. Because a lot of us don't even want to use it at all. And it's our just due. We pay for it every single month. It's a requirement if you are living up to the legal mm. the laws of what you're supposed to have. So $20,000, if you pursue it, is not a lot of money to the insurance company. It's a lot of money to you. Mm. And you feel like you don't deserve it because your neck hurts a little bit. They've tricked you. I'm here to let you know, baby, you do deserve that. And I talked to them just like this. Goodness gracious. <laughs> I was getting on the highway. Uh-huh. And you know how like it's it's like a stop sign that allows you to get on the highway. So I stop and I see his car coming behind me and they are rolling. Uh-huh. And he hits the back of my car. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, boom, oh, goodness gracious. This is my first little Lexus too. My first little side of money. One. Had a little had a red Lexus. That joint was beautiful. So, oh no, it was white. Then I got a red one. So I, you know, we pull over. The guy comes out of the truck. He's like, man, sorry. He's probably just on his phone or something stupid. So I think fast. I had an event that night. Mm -hmm. So I just went to the event. And I think my neck is still like in pain, but this was seven, eight years ago. 
But I think they're in show. What's so funny? Y'all just be. <laughs> No, the, you could be talking the truth, but ain't yeah, nothing we can do. <laughs> yeah, I know. I no, but now I'm just thinking of all yeah. these scenarios where I've been in a bunch of yes. accidents and I didn't know to call you and say, "Hey, if you watch I was an any accident. podcast that I've ever been on, I tell the same story. My earliest memory of any type of marketing is a very popular attorney here in Georgia. Like every other commercial is his commercial. I know personal, even before I got in the industry, I was aware of how personal injury work. If you're in a wreck, you call Ken Nugent, you call 401 Payne, you call Morgan and Morgan. Mm-hmm. When I'm in my accident at 19, the bruise is still right here on my arm. I didn't call anybody. I didn't feel like I was hurt bad enough. I'm educating people of how this really works for real. Like if you get on my line, you're getting educated why this is your just do. You've actually already paid for it. <laughs> like they're just giving mm. your money back. Mental anguish. Yeah. Okay. I got in an accident yesterday. Uh huh. Okay. I'm calling you. Uh-huh. You're saying, okay. And I'm paying you for the referral. You call those guys I just mentioned. Thank you for the for using me. The minimum I pay out for people for using my service. Like if you called me and wanted me to help you, you get two hundred dollars flat. Like and then the more we do, the more I pay you. You get. She gets two hundred dollars. So she called me herself. I'm giving her two hundred dollars for the referral. If you called me and said you were referring she, herself, yes. But if you called me and said she was in an accident and she works with me, then I pay you the referral. So who get this two hundred dollar referral right now? Hey, is that my baby? And that's again? the minimum. Word. Okay. I wonder how much a client is worth to you. A lot. A lot. Okay. All right. There's the con- okay. Y'all have the consultation. Okay. Uh huh. No, I want to have the consultation. I was in an accident. Mm-hmm. Listen, I've been in an accident. What do you say to me? When did the accident happen? What county the accident happened? Yesterday. Did you it was get a police Cobb report? County. Okay. I did get a police report. Okay. What's your police report phone um, number so we can get the the actual copy of the accident report for you? One two three four five six. All right. Nice. Now. What we need to do is have you work with a personal injury attorney and also have you see a doctor as soon as possible. The quicker and the sooner you see a doctor to get your injuries documented, it's going to give us better leverage with maximizing your case. They want to see that you're hurt. Sometimes you're not hurt right away, but whenever you start to feel that pain, I need you to get it documented. I would like for you to fill out this attorney agreement first because I don't want you to pay anything out of pocket for these doctor's appointments. It's not your fault. The insurance company will eventually pay, but they're not going to pay today. Mm. So this just ensures that you're never paying anything out of pocket, especially if you decide to work with doctors in my network. And this attorney agreement says, if we're able to help you, you you pay us if we're able to help you. If we can't help Mm. you, nobody gets paid. Our doctors drop their bills, which is a very unique um, offer that we do, because in lots of situations, your doctor's bills are your doctor's bills but we've built out a network of doctors that understand shit happens. So if we can't get our client paid, they're going to drop the bill altogether. And then the same with the attorney, that's pretty standard everywhere. We work for you on a contingency fee, which means we are only paid if we are able to get you paid. And this is the fee we want. And then we start you on treatment. Yo, who came up with this way of making money? This is incredible. It's a thing. It's an, it's, 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 even for me, it took me years to have this conversation because I used to feel like, am I an ambulance chaser? But call me what you want. I help a lot of people, people who would have never done anything if they had not come across me. And you've been doing this for 15 years. Yes. Goodness gracious. Yes. I do want to talk about something that we talked about. Mm-hmm. Where before the pandemic, you said you were doing 20, 30,000 a month, mm-hmm. right? And then what happened? Oh, people are making three million in a year. <laughs> I need some of that. Yeah. I'm not doing that. How can yeah. I do that? Yeah. That's what I wanted to do. So that's when I started seeing who was doing what, how they were moving, who they were moving with. And I was like, you copy the right cat. But it wasn't for me. It never worked out. Like that way of doing business and <laughs> me getting away from my actual bread and butter, which was something else that I learned in that journey that, most of the people that I wanted to be like, that was the only thing they were doing. Like they were treating Instagram like a job, like they're going live all day. Like that is their, they're clocking in and they're working it. I already had a job. (laughs) So I couldn't even afford to give the energy to that second job. And when I did the first job declined. So they were putting all that energy there because that's all they had. Like you just said, I'm already making 20, 30,000. I had something I need to keep investing in this. I'm only on the, I'm not even at the, 
I'm not even doing what I do well yet. There's so much more I can do. Yeah. But I'm so focused on what David's doing. I'm so focused on what she's doing. I'm so focused on what you're doing because it's working for y'all. But I have a lane. Like even now with everyone telling me um, we didn't know what you did. If I had been focusing on my accidents two years ago when I met you for real, for real. Mm -hmm. Sheesh. Yeah. yeah. But my messaging was all over the place. Funding. Business credit. I just got me a, um, I got me one Airbnb. Let me help you get one. <laughs> like that kind of stuff. Man, that's why this, this conversation is so important. Cause you know, like well. that kind of stuff was and running you, crazy and I was yeah. running with it. And I was like, you know what? I got to get back to blessing and everything changed. So you're just distracted by, you started doing other stuff. Because what you were doing wasn't making the money that you saw other people make. Fast, as fast as it was, as it was happening for them. Man. I knew it was going to happen, but it seemed like they had cracked the code to make the collapse of time. Mm. Man, got away from it. So what, give me the, like the, the, the realization where you're like, oh, what am I doing? Well, it got to the point where I was making $50,000 a month and just being a, so being around high functioning entrepreneurs does two things, motivate you and make you feel like you ain't doing shit at the you same time. Edit it. Oh, sorry. It's okay. You're Dang. doing great. You're doing great. Y'all forgive me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> um, the last podcast I was able to speak freely. <laughs> <laughs> we'll so, edit it out if you yeah, want. Yeah, just okay, take it out. Right. I'm glad you warned me because it could have got real hot. Yeah, I appreciate so, it. So um, what was the question? Because you distracted me. <laughs> um, so you, you started talking about uh, being around high level entrepreneurs. Yes, two it's two, two things. Motivates you and then make you feel like you're not doing enough. Yeah. Right. So half the time I'm like, yeah, I can do this. I'm going to get me 300, 3 million in one year. And I'm like, I just made $100,000. No one around me has ever done that before. Like I'm that girl in my group. Mm -hmm. And now it feels like nothing. Like I feel like I'm not accomplishing anything. So I literally, when my, I was in a mentorship and he did everything he was supposed to do, but everybody works differently. Like Dion and I were in that mentor, to, mentorship together. Mm. It did everything it was supposed to do for Dion. Mm. It didn't do what I needed it to do for me just because I was on a different mindset in general at the time. So I hear people say, yeah, it works and yeah, it doesn't work, but it just depends on what season that you're in. Yeah. But it was it, because I was already confused in my messaging. I really had to just get back to being I needed some alone time to get clear, to not hear so many voices, to get back on my track. It was too, like, even on the calls, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. I'm, and you're trying to keep up and you're not. And you start yeah. feeling like a failure. So yeah. I just had to take some time. I'm a loner also by nature. Like yeah. I do when I'm working at home or if I'm working in my office, I need it silent. Yeah. Like no music, like my best thought processes when it's completely silent. Mm. Dion might need the, the music thumping. Like yeah. that's how he get into it. So everybody's process is different. So once I just got really quiet and honed in on what it was I needed, what made sense for me, maybe a hundred thousand dollars a month isn't what I need or yeah. shouldn't be my primary focus or I shouldn't be comparing myself. Yeah. And when it's time for me to hit that level, I would have hit the previous level that this will be easier. Yeah. So it, it's great, but it's just, like I said, I just want to keep it transparent as possible. Yeah. I went through, I love this and I don't like this at the same time. Man, this is, this is a real conversation that needs to be had because people really, you see all this other stuff and you just have no idea that and it was your a lot lane. Of, kind of fake stuff too. I'm such a real person. I was just like, oof, this is, this is there's a lot of facades happening. Mm. Lots of facades happening. People saying they're making this and then asking people to borrow money. I've seen on, this man. with my own eyes. Yeah. So I was like, oh, hell, heck no. Nah. I was winning before yeah. I got here. Yeah. For real, for real. Let me keep my eyes on my prize. Yeah. God has never failed me doing me. Stay in your lane. Stay in my lane. I got a great lane. Yo, what is the most money you've gotten someone from an accident. So here's the thing. That you know. Uh, that I know of. I, I, so because of what I do is cut and dry, I don't really know a lot of people's settlements. Mm -hmm. I'm just here to deliver the leads. I don't get paid off the settlement. Oh, so you're out of it after that. I'm just here to deliver the leads. If I got you a million and got him 2000 my job is done. It mm. doesn't matter. I just deliver the leads. But with that being said, um, my mom had a slip and fall. 
And she, I referred her to an attorney. She didn't think we were doing a good job. I said, well, explore your options. <laughs> Do you, boo? <laughs> <laughs> mom. Do you, mom? <laughs> so she called a big television attorney, and they were on the phone with her all of five minutes. Man, we cannot help you. We're on the trajectory to get my mom a million dollars. Wow. They turned her down ASAP because they ain't got the time. They got 20 people or more, like, calling them every second. Like, their marketing is working. Their marketing is... You throw a big net, you catch what you can. Yeah. And the history of the years they've been doing this. Mm -hmm. So you're thinking, I'm calling this company. They're able to help everybody. They're like, ma'am, your case is too complicated. We got 10 easy ones calling us as soon as you hang up. I'd rather not even spend the time on your case. Because mm -hmm. all of these are going to equal a million dollars plus anyway. We don't have that luxury, the attorneys I work with. Most of them are starting out attorneys. Um, who are excellent in what they do. They just don't have the exposure yet. They don't have the the experience yet. My mom wanted to fire me. <laughs> she couldn't. Right. No one would take her. Wow. And now she's going to get a, she's, she's still in the process, but it's looking good. Goodness For a million dollars. That's awesome, man. Yeah. That and that's awesome. my mother, my best friend in the whole wide world. Yeah. She wanted to fire me. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. Um, I want to ask about this too. Um, I'm going to get a percentage of hers though. Yeah. We got to figure that out. Negotiate that or? It's, it's understood. It's just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Um, so I want to ask this. You live in Atlanta. Yes. Uh -huh. um, involved? Like am I in a relationship? Yeah. No, I'm single as a single dollar bill. Do you know why? Yeah, I do. Why? God has told me where my husband is. I'm working on me to be in those rooms. Where are you at? In, in rooms I've yet to enter. So your husband is in a room somewhere. Mm -hmm. But of course he's in a room somewhere. In bigger and better rooms that I've, that I've yet to enter. God told me, but better. That's his word to me. But better. Just work on you. Keep being better. Could it be a big club? A big club? That's a room. Uh, well, I mean. It is bigger and it's lit. It is lit and I am lit. So it could <laughs> be. It could. It definitely could be. He didn't get specific as to what type of room. Mm. It's just basically everywhere I've been, he's not there because you're going higher. Don't settle where you are. You bless him. It's not even about him. Why do it got to be higher though? Why can't it be It don't have lower? to be. That's my personal word. It wasn't a conference call. It was <laughs> God talking to me. <laughs> okay. And God told me specifically, that might yeah. not be her message. Yeah. He might be here today, but that ain't what God, it, it, he told me because he talks to me. Let me look around this room real quick. Because I'm a believer. <laughs> that. What's, what's going on? Did y'all come together? No. Y'all are sitting by each other. I just sat down. That's it's a all. room. It's a room. And he made room for me. But yeah. And he's wearing a shirt that says rich and fit. So. Yeah. You know, that's how I like him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you feel me? Social proof has been known to create situations. Yeah. I'm not opposed to any situation. But honestly, like, I feel like that's a word that I've been given that you just keep striving for excellence, blessing. Yeah. I know what you deserve. Yeah. And you're going to get it. And there, even when I look back on it, it makes so much sense. Like, there's this one guy that I was, like, pying over for years. Like, Lord, please, like, rekindle this in the name of Jesus. Like, <laughs> this is it. Ah, so y'all dated it before? Yes. Okay. This is the one. And we eventually rekindled f on a friendship level. Mm -hmm. And I'm listening to this man talk. And I'm like, ain't no way he could have been my husband. Like, really? the blessing that I am today he can't. It's impossible. Even with me pouring into him that everything I've done, you can do. Let me help you do it. Let me show yeah. you some things. This is easy. Like some stuff is easy. Yeah. Get the Metro 2 compliance, get you some funding, invest. That yeah. ain't hard. But you don't believe. It's nothing I can do with a non-believer. He would have stunted my growth. Mm, meaning he didn't believe He don't believe even in him. Like he don't believe in nothing. Like you are scary. You're fearful. I'm a risk taker. And they don't believe in themselves. Which is going to slow me down. Because now yeah. I got to listen to you talking about how you don't believe. Yeah. That's, that's, the, that's the basics. <laughs> belief is For my sure. basic. Yeah. We can do anything with belief. We can walk on some. I'm that kind. When my husband gets me, it's up and stuck. 
Oh, because you're a blessing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Huh. As as an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. and do you want to tell me how old you are? 36, 37 36? Okay, in cool. December. December what? 11th. Where my mm -hmm. name? Mm -hmm. Okay. I know my Sagittarius brother. Um, uh, as a 36 year old woman that's experiencing success, where's your focus? Is it still business? It's still business because I am a businesswoman by heart. I've just always been her since mm -hmm. a little girl. I tell people I feel like I was born 40. Like my maturity level has just been one of, of a 40 year old lady my whole life mm -hmm. I've always been money motivated my entire life and so even marriage wasn't really a big thing of, of, on my thinking in my 20s like it, when I got closer to 30 and crossing over 30 mm -hmm. that's when I got more marriage minded mm -hmm. and so even navigating dating um I hate it <laughs> mm -hmm. so it pushes me back to business again I'm like before mm -hmm. before I give y'all all of this energy and get a zero result I can put the same energy in my business and get a result. Yeah. I'd rather put the time there. Yeah, but I mean, just uh, just being on the journey as an entrepreneur, it's like the personal life sometimes can be a distraction to the business, and the business can be a distraction to the personal life. How would you How would you describe that? I believe I want a similar personality. Like even Dion, we were talking about this: how his wife and he are different, and he was. Anyway, yeah, and um, I really sometimes for myself, I need, I think I need another lesson, like someone who thinks the way I think, someone who's high energy the way I'm high energy, so that the business never seems like it's getting in the way. Yeah. It's fun for me, like me waking, if I can get a man who loves to wake up and trade at nine o'clock in the morning to 1030 um, to, for like an hour, like that excites me, like that's not a boring at all, like that's the yeah. best man in the world, and then he wants to go have a... <laughs> Like a power you lunch. Do, bro? You trade? You got your computer there. And you then trade? he has business meetings and he's like, hey, I just talked to such and such and such. Can you do this for me? So, like, and we're just building together mm -hmm. like that. Do you see my face? Like I get really energized by for that. Sure. Yeah. Like that's what I want. Mm. <laughs> you married? You, you married? Good for you, man. <laughs> I tried. I tried. You ain't got to try. Okay. You ain't got to try. It's coming. <laughs> I'm doing my part. And he uh, got to do his part. A hundred percent. Yeah. Um, I I think um, I want to I want to know your 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 emotional journey as an entrepreneur. Has the fi last fifteen years of you doing this business been uh, more physically taxing or emotionally taxing, or both, or neither? I love the journey. I moved here to Atlanta fifteen years ago as well. Mm -hmm. I was in school for fashion design. I was going to SCAD. I was working at the Mac counter doing makeup and I had a singing group. My, my whole point of moving really? to Atlanta was to blow up and become a star. And um, I needed money for that journey. <laughs> and I, I got a job that was related to what I'm doing now. And a mentor. What, what was the job? So the job at that time literally was passing out flyers that promoted um if you're in an accident, call this number once to an attorney's office. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. And then we had this other, um, I was working for a company called Zoom Printer. It was a, dig a digital printing service, basically. So we, right. did, we did digital print. So one of the chiropractors had flyers about, um, for his patients. Like, literally, he would leave them in his uh, reception area. So if you ever have someone that you're knowing in an accident, as a patient of mine, can you refer them to me? Right. So the chiropractor... So the guy who owned Zoom Printer ended up being my boyfriend and my mentor. And the chiropractor and him had a deal. Mm -hmm. And the patients, the, the deal was a deal for the patients. It was $200 yeah. if you were as a patient and you referred him more patients. Mm -hmm. Whatever his deal was with my friend, I don't know, but my friend paid me $200 out of his got portion. It. That's how all of this got started. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. So going out to build it, it seems like a very physically taxing so well, that's business. the answer you're looking for. My bad. I'm yeah. sorry. So I love this so much because I was having this conversation with someone last night. Sometimes you get paid money mm -hmm. and then sometimes you get paid principles and just priceless things. Right. Mm -hmm. So me and my ex and mentor still, we were so getting this out of the mud. We had police scanners. Right. Your ex, your mentor. Yeah. 
Word, that's weird. Yeah, like just, it just in, he is because he taught me so much. I'm never letting him go from, as a mentor. Mm. Um, but we were so hungry. This is how we started as well. We had police scanners, and we used to go to certain spots in Atlanta, and we would wait for accidents to happen, and we would pull up on the person before the police or while the police was there or after the police. Like oh, wow. we heard it called out on the scanner. And then we would go too. So like how you were saying you was getting phone calls and stuff. Like it's different ways to do this. But we were literally pulling up, right? Interesting. And I I told this story last night because it just really changed my life. It taught me to to receive no's. Like I don't care that you told me no, I'm on to the next. It made me so brave. It made me so bold. So my guy friend would be like, all right, it's your turn to go talk to the people. Mm -hmm. I'm pretending like I'm that girl. Like, oh, this is nothing. On the inside, I am sweating bullets. Like, mm. oh my God, I can't get out here and talk to these people in front of the police. Like, they gonna lock me up. I'm so scared. Uh. But I wanted him to see me as this brave soul. So I would talk to myself on the inside, but I would get out with this boldness and I would go handle my business. Then the faking became real. Mm, that's a bar. I was gonna say, you must that's why that when man. people say fake it till you make it, it's a real it's thing. It's real. That fake boldness became real boldness. That's why when you talk to me, I'm like, it's what it is. Like, it came from me approaching people scared. Yeah. And eventually, you do it. It's like going to the gym. I can only lift the 10. Now that's easy. I'm going to do the 20. Now that's easy. I'm going to do the 30. Now that's easy. You want me to go talk to who? That's easy. Yeah. There was a guy in our circle I had a crush on. I told him. Like, big, 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 big guy. Who? You don't want to know all that. Show me his Instagram. I won't say nothing. Just show me Instagram. Just out of my curiosity. I don't get my phone with me. Look at Dion. He know. Look at Dion. Who is it? Text it. Text it to me. And I shot my shot. Is it Shoot, still, what you going to say? Yes or no? I this, need to know. I'm collapsing time. Because the more it, I think about this and wait, the the more I don't know. You Once you tell me my no, I need to find me a new victim. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> did, ever, did y'all ever talk at all? Casually, not not like that. Not but I shot my shot, and he will respond. That's how I start. I'm like, this man got a million followers, and he responded to me. Let me say something else. <laughs> That's crazy because he actually just texted me that. Oh, don't say nothing. I won't. It's too late. But yeah, because yeah, he got he got. Yeah, he missed this opportunity. That's the way to look at it. Yeah, he, you don't sleep on a blessing. I don't I care who that. you are. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, where were we in this story? I'm sorry. Oh, let's, we got let's sidetracked. <laughs> um, okay, I forgot where we are. We were, oh, so. What was more straining, became, emotionally yes, or physically? Yes, and yeah. I was like, I don't, so I'm a bright side of the, bright side of everything type person. Nothing has been bad for me. Everything yeah. in life has been perfect. Everything is working out for my good. Every single thing that's ever happened to me is working out for my ultimate good it sounds no it's good. so real i now, love it i mean yes because things are working once out once you decide now, you don't look to the other side uh, uh, that's a bar but the point is while you're going through it mm-hmm. it's hard for someone to emotionally digest the fact that this is good for me how do you get yourself to, while you're in it? Reading is fundamental, guys. So at, when I was in it was also my introduction to self-help books. Mm-hmm. So that's why I say this guy is my mentor. Before meeting him, I never read a self-help book. If it wasn't about passing a class at school, I wasn't reading. Yeah. So I started reading with him. And it's all, all of this started 15, everything happened together for me. So it might be different for everybody else. Mm-hmm. So I was working on my mindset while I was chasing the accident. So it was, and I'm the type of person, if you show me something that works, that's why I said, once you decide, you stay aligned. Mm-hmm. Once you show me something works, I don't care what used to happen. Yeah. I've seen the mountaintop and I'm not looking back. Yeah. So I was reading the books, I was doing the work and everything was working. So again, like even when God tells us good things happen to bad people mm-hmm. and bad things happen to good people, that's just a part of the journey. The sooner you can accept that all things are working together for your good and you honestly believe that wholeheartedly. See, you're asking me like, I don't believe that. That's why I can't get jiggy with your question. No, 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 no. I believe it too. Yeah. But I'm having a hard time. So even when, um, even when I lost my mom, Uh it wasn't, 
it wasn't as bad as it seems because I just recently had my daughter. So I'm of the mindset that God could have took all these people from me, but God saw fit that I have my family. So I, I start leaning more into mm -hmm. my family, into what I have. What I'm saying mm -hmm. is that took years of becoming. It does. But I, I, I've i not mastered it, mm -hmm. but I'm doing well with that. Mm -hmm. But I'm asking you, how have you been able to um, I decided. look at the bright side while you're on the dark side? I decided. I it's just, it's just what you just said, and then it was. It, so to me, to look at the dark side keeps me in the dark longer. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be in the dark for long. Yeah. I'm doing everything I can to get back to the bright side. Yeah. To get back to the bright side quickly, I have to quickly decide to get back to the bright side. Yeah. That's the exercise. Every single time you feel the darkness, turn the light on. Mm, there's some light somewhere. For turn sure. the light on and you might have to turn today. I might have to turn the light on twice tomorrow. I might have to turn it on a hundred times, but I'm going to turn it on. Yeah. It's not, I cannot stay in the dark. The dark leads to more dark. The light leads to more light. Once you decide that you want the light, the light starts to follow you, mm. but you really, it's not cliche. Like you really have to make up your mind that I am going to see the glass half Full. It gets a little low, but find a way to fill it up. I don't know if that's calling David. I don't know if that's calling me. I don't know if the, it's got to be a way, though. But again, I'm also I think we're similar in personality yeah. just because of our zodiacs, which I don't think you care much about. I, don't. I know you don't, but I do. <laughs> and we have that resiliency where we don't need to bump our heads a lot. Like one good bump on the head teaches me. Some people need to bump their heads several times. I'm not her. Well, that's how you cried. Um, when's the last time I cry? I cry all the time. You cry all the time? Yeah. I'm a I'm a passionate thug. A <laughs> sensitive thug is what they say. Yeah. It's it's really challenging for me to cry. And not that I'm like it's not like I'm deciding not to cry. Mm -hmm. It's just it just I don't feel it. Yeah, anymore. I do right, cry. I going. cry. I cry. I don't have a problem with that at all. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So as but I, I I wish I I need to figure out. So for an example, if I, I cried, can't relate to certain people uh -huh. emotionally. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I do. I, I You know what I came up with recently, David? I'm a breeze in a lot of people's lives. Mm -hmm. I used to want to be the wind beneath their wings and help them sail to greatness. Mm -hmm. That ain't my job. I'm going to breeze by you, give you a good old word, and it's up to you to do what you want to do with it. I'm done. Mm. It's harsh, though. No, it's not harsh. No? You're on your own journey. I'm on my own journey. You're taking me off my journey by being your wind. That's harsh. That's not fair. That's good. That's a good answer. So you have you have tough days, yes? Yeah. Do you have anything, like any weird blessing thing that you do when you're going through whatever you're going through? Mm. Is it, do you take yourself out to ice cream? Do you get back into the work? I think that withdrawing is what I do. Like when it's when I'm feeling I'm the same way. Yeah. When it's too much, I just need to be with blessing and nobody else. Like that's the answer. That's what makes me sit down, do the work, think it out, journal it out, talk it out with myself, talk it out with God. And give me a couple of days, I'll be back. I don't believe in Zodiacs, but I'm telling you, I'm your sister. <laughs> We the same exact way. This yeah, because it's a real thing. Yeah. It's all based off of star alignment, which God did. I'm not here by accident. <laughs> That's a fact. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. I wanted to ask this too, because you're in the referral business. Uh -huh. What's some other ways to make money in the referral business? Because you you're probably in this referral world mm -hmm. that we're not in. Uh-huh. What are some other people like you in different industries? Is it other industries like that? Um, you know, so as I was driving here today, uh, car salesmen came up on my mind a lot as far as like referrals. Like even the word bird dog came from a book I read by Joe Gerard, the car salesman, mm -hmm. where he made all of his people who bought cars for him, his, um, his advertisement 
We normally think of bird dog as real estate. Right. Yeah. Right. So anybody that he sold a car to, he basically trained them on how to bring him more customers. Right. That's what I'm doing. Hmm. So I think it shows up anywhere in sales. We just don't see it as what it is. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. And your business model is to get them to pay you a refer, pay you a flat monthly fee. So I, there's different ways of doing it, and I know you're you're on the side of doing things legally. So of course, of course, you're not. Well, want me to answer that truthfully? This is America. Ain't they, there's nothing legal about America. This whole country was built on illegal everything. Okay. So are that's do, another conversation for are you another doing day. Doing something illegal? What? I am not doing anything illegal, but I could say, I mean, I'm a realist. Like, I don't trust America. Don't we live here? Yes. Have they not made it hard for black people in every way possible? Is that legal? It's legal because they made the rules. Yeah. If you make the rules, you can make whatever you want to be legal or illegal. Okay. Weed was illegal. How many black men and women have we thrown in jail and they're making billions of dollars off of this today? This is true. Because they're legalizing it because they're in control. So, you know, I, it's a touchy subject for both, me about both, legal in America. But what are, you, <laughs> it, it, are you doing something borderline? America is the I'm not founding about father I'm of about, illegal. I'm talking about blessing. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm fine. But so here's the thing. We had a situation come up with a young lady who moves a certain kind of way. Mm. And it was brought to my attention. Mm. I'm like, Jesus hung out with Mary Magdalene. I hang out with them all. Okay. I don't, I don't, if you already saved, you don't need me. Mm. I'm here for the people. Okay. So if there are some people that's doing some things, I don't look down on them. Right. My job is to be a breeze. Hey, this is what you need to be doing. Yeah. That's up to you what you do with it. I'm off to go mind my business. <laughs> gotcha. But I understand it, honestly. I You're just, giving me illegal borderline I, vibes. You can take that. On something. Is there something? Okay, is there something that people do in your industry that isn't as legal as it could be? Well, I'm going to say no to that. But what mm -hmm. I'm, what, the way I want to answer this best is an attorney is not supposed to split a fee. That's illegal. I see where you're going. Yeah. I see where you're going. Okay, so your model is they pay you monthly. Yeah. But you want to figure out a way I didn't to, say that. I'll put it this way. <laughs> I was talking to an attorney, and I'm an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. And I said, I want to build out this, um, this pipeline to your company. So this attorney's like, yo, we can't take, we can't, we can't, take money for every person that you send me. And I just didn't understand it. Like, why not? And she says, um, because it's illegal. And I say, well, there's got to be a way to make it legal. So that's me trying to figure out, and I'm still trying to figure out, how you can pay me off of me growing your practice. Do I got to get my attorney's license? Because I'm not about to just... I'm not as grow somebody's company. Well, on grow average, company. the person that I bring to you uh, is worth two thousand dollars on average, right? Mm -hmm. So, is it possible you can pay me a marketing fee? Yes. Of ten thousand dollars, which means I feed you a pipeline of five people a month. Yes, and that's not legal. And that's not illegal. I'm trying to figure out a way to make what I want to happen legal. You can figure it. This is America. Yeah, there's a way. There's, so people say, yo, I'm you saying. should pay taxes. We in America. There figure are, it out. There are some people who pay less taxes than other people in a very legal way that's figured out how to make it legal. Borderline I don't think we stuff. should be afraid of people trying to say, just because something didn't work out for you and it worked out for me, don't make it illegal. Yes. I also don't want nobody to go to jail. Yeah, we're not sending nobody to jail on yeah. no day. But I'm just saying, when you ask me that kind of question, I just I just have to think about how this country treats black people mm -hmm. and people in general since we got here illegally. Yeah, everything's illegal. Gosh, not everything because what you do isn't illegal. I'm talking about America. I see. You're right, one hundred percent. 
If, Probably America, try to, if America can do it, why other people can't do it? I don't. But why can't other people do it if America does it? If Donald so, Trump is running for president and yes. he's doing it. But Donald might go to jail. You never know. I don't think he's going to go, though, because he's Donald Trump. But He's going to figure out a way. To he's going to go. figure out a way. This is America, the land of figure out a way. Yes. But even in this conversation, I want y'all to encourage finding that line. Because people who dance on the line for the most part, fall on the other side of jail. That's true. Especially in entrepreneurial I, 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 space. I totally agree with and that. I, and I have to be, I have to be very careful on this platform yes. too because there's one thing of being creative, mm -hmm. right? There's one, I haven't had anybody come on here and talk about trust just yet mm -hmm. because there's so much borderline stuff mm -hmm. when it comes to trust and I don't know the space. Yeah. So they can come on here and talk about whatever. And the best I can do is ask my questions That's it. about what is, okay, I'm trying to get an understanding, but I, I never want people to dance on the, the gray area, but I'll be trying to, I'll be so far away from the gray area because you can get rich doing the right thing. Yes, you can. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, but I'm still trying to figure out a way where There's I can a make a, make a partnership with a law firm and I can be paid off my efforts. Can I own my own law firm without having a a, a degree, or not a degree? Uh, what's it called? What's it called? A license. The to answer practice? to that is no. But there's a way. So a second part of my business is a paralegal service. Yes, paralegal is pretty much an assistant to an attorney, right? Right. So as a paralegal service. There's not one attorney at this office, but we do all, we, we manage the case from beginning to end. Explain that. So it's technically good. the attorney. Run that, run that uh, live back. Oh, okay. You can't do it again? You can't start over? Okay. All right, go ahead. So um, technically the attorneys have hired the paralegal service to do their work. What is the point I'm trying to make here for you? I'm trying to help you come up with a legal way is what I'm trying to do. So I was yes. I was saying this out loud to see if this could help you. But you're saying, are you saying in your situation, you become a paralegal for multiple attorneys? But that still doesn't help with your specific situation. I was just thinking on the spot. It doesn't work for you. But I'm saying, is your model, you're a paralegal for multiple attorneys? Oh, no, that's not my, but there's a separate business. that That's a whole separate entity. That's your business? I'm that I'm a part of. Oh, my business is your accident, your money. We're strictly a referral service. Got I it. just send the leads. Hmm. I guess that's that. that it, get, it starts to really get my mind working on how I can be a referral system to other people. And I guess it's just attorneys that, that makes it like not good or illegal. They can't pay a direct fee like she's saying. What about doctors? Can they pay? A, no, doctors neither. What are they doing? Why not? Why can't I make a fee off of? Say it again. Oh, doctors and attorneys, you cannot. Okay. Got it. For sure. Yeah, you can refer my studio. I will pay you. Right. Yes. I don't think that's legal, but I, but I guess doctors and attorneys, you can't. Okay. Got Directly. You. Okay. But you figure out a way to get this bag out of this. And that's what's up. So that's why it makes sense now where you're saying they pay me a flat fee per month mm -hmm. and I'm a marketer. Mm -hmm. I'm, but no company is going to pay a marketer if they don't get any results. And you're just saying, so, I'm saying my, I'll bring at least this amount of people. Which is better than radio. Cause if you, if I pay 100%. you 10,000 for radio, I can't guarantee you. You can say statistically based off the past, this is what I'm thinking that this ad will bring to the table. Yo, so that's pretty much what I'm saying. Statistically, I think the numbers will be about this for my work to be able to produce this. Yo, you know what? I never thought about that because a lot of attorneys spend money on marketing. Yes. Because they just need their name to ring throughout the city. Yes. That so, is what an attorney does. It's not about hire me today. It's about remember me when you need me. Yeah. 
So actually, the attorney that I was working with, she and she she follows everything by the book, and that's where I got educated on this. She was like, I can sponsor. She said, I can sponsor your events. I can be a sponsor for your events based on our working relationship. Like, if it works out, I'll sponsor the event. It's mm-hmm. not like I'm paying you mm-hmm. because you're doing this. But I want to sponsor the event. But because you showed me that people listen to you and follow exactly. you, I got you. I got you. So yeah. I just want to go on the record and say I don't believe anybody should do anything illegal on right. any day for any reason. That's not what I do. Yeah. But when you start to think like we were just doing here in the sponsorships, I'm just saying that if there's a way to get it done, there's a legal way we can find. Mm-hmm. We don't have to do anything illegal. Yes, 100%. All right, guys, you heard it here first. Be legal. Be legal. Don't dance on the uh, on the line of maybe this could be or don't. Cause it's probably going to land you in a bad situation. Bless, and this is a really good conversation. I loved it. I didn't know... I didn't know that this was a thing. And now I'm starting to think of. All I'm saying attorneys. is I am your referral source for accidents. Okay. Let's yes. not even talk, think about nobody else. No, I want some sponsorships from some law firms. Okay. Well, I want direct referrals from you. You want direct referrals from me? Yeah. If someone in the morning meetup is in an accident, call my girl blessing. Yes. But I, I still want a law firm to give me some money for me. Yeah, to be we like, got hey. family law, we got civil law. I'm gonna start reaching out. Yo, you know, okay, we got other laws. Look up some law firms in Atlanta, and we're gonna call all of them and tell them about the podcast, and we're gonna get some sponsorship money. And for all the ones that you secure, I give you some money. Look at this. He done took I my can do whole model and, and, and <laughs> left me out of the payment. <laughs> Well, get me a little, um, you know. I got you. We got, we got you. Because you can actually pay me per person. I can. The attorney can't pay. Okay, yes, I got you. I All can right. pay you. We're extremely legal here. Yes, this is we're good. legal. We're Everything is copacetic. This is good stuff, man. Yo, blessing. Um, one last question. Yes. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? What do you see yourself accomplishing in the next five years? And the only reason I'm asking mm-hmm. is because I want to be able to watch this interview five years from today. And see, did you accomplish the thing that you said you would accomplish five years ago? Yeah, you know what? Um, Law school is heavily on my mind. Like, should I do it? Should I not do it? All of my rich friends are like, you make more than attorneys make. Why would you even go to law school? Mm. But um, I just really love what I do so much. I didn't see myself being here, but I love it. And I just want to keep getting how I got distracted before. I don't want it to happen again. I just want to go deeper and deeper and deeper into my lane. Um, I have a five-year-old. That'll make him 10. So I just want to be the best mother that I can be to him, be the best role model that I can be to him. I have a homegirl. She wants to save the world. She gets on my nerves with that (laughs) because it's too big of a job. But what we all can do is save our household. If every single one of us focused on saving our household, we would save the world. Focus on your house. In five years from now, we're going to be in many mansions. I love it. I love it. That's good stuff. But look, man, uh, Clo- I'll let everybody know how they can uh, uh, get in touch with you and um, give us a word of wisdom. Yes, guys. So you guys can follow me um, on all social platforms as The Blessing Attitudes, T-H-E-B-L-E-S-S-I-N, no G. Keep that in mind. Everybody does it just by accident. Attitudes. And um, my word for you guys is going to be don't settle. I want you guys to get really clear on what it is that you want for yourselves. And every single thing that does not align, don't do it. Only do the things that align to the place you see yourself going. And that is going to make sure you land there. I love it. Listen, man, we cannot close it out no better than that. Do yourself a favor, okay? Make sure you follow Blessing, okay? If you're in an accident, make sure you call her, okay? She's going to give you the best advice. And uh, go get you some, some social proof, man. Go build something. Build it really, really big. But be sure to come back to your community and teach them how you did what you did, okay? It's the only way our community grows, all right? We need you to hit that subscribe button. We need you to hit the like button. Share it with somebody, all right? We out of here. Peace. If you like the video that you just watched, click this one. You're going to like this one, maybe even more. Click it right now.